Hey everyone, Emma here, also known as 8 Vinyl O, bringing all of you another video. Today's video is going to be part of my music chat series. Uh, this is going to be specifically a concert review video about a concert that I attended over this past weekend. It was also the VC crossover event of the year with Alex over at Beer and Vinyl. First off, if you are not familiar with Alex's channel, please go over right now, pause the video, stop it, go over right now, it's linked down below, check out Beer and Vinyl. It's not just a channel name, it's obviously a way of life, um, but go check them out right now, Beer and Vinyl, give them a sub, all that fun stuff. And especially if you follow my channel and you love Cheap Trick and you love Power Pop, you have to check out a video that Alex just posted recently about a week ago. He did a, a Power Pop primer. Just highly recommend it. It fits in perfectly with the kind of the subject and theme of this video and concert review as well. So again, go check out Alex, give him some love, beer and vinyl, sporting the shirt, way of life, go do it right now. <laughs> um, but Alex, uh, he came to visit for the weekend and we went record shopping. We went to a bunch of different places, grabbed some lunch, all that fun stuff. Um, but the weekend that he was scheduled to come in, this was scheduled like a month or so ago. Uh, the weekend that he was scheduled to come in, I noticed that Matthew Sweet was playing at a venue here in this area. And so I kind of threw the suggestion out to him. Now I'm a huge Matthew Sweet fan, uh, alt rock, power pop artist, uh, specifically from the 90s, but is also, of course, making new material today. Uh, most well known for his breakthrough album, 1991, This Is Girlfriend. Now I first got into Matthew Sweet through Legendary Jim. And if you've watched my channel and my VCLT unboxings, you guys know Legendary Jim, he is awesome. He's been getting me on all these kind of, he's been getting me into uh, a lot of newer power pop bands, but then also power pop artists that I wasn't familiar with growing up. So Matthew Sweet is definitely an artist that I love now that was introduced to me by Jim. This is one of my favorite al albums of all time, hands down. And in terms of Matthew Sweet's catalog, this serves as a greatest hits for him. So 1991 Girlfriend, incredible. He played a lot of Girlfriend at his show. Legendary Jim also sent me 100% Fun, which has the song Sick of Myself on here, and uh, which is another uh, very, very popular, well-known Matthew Sweet song. And then a newer release, Matthew Sweet's newer release from 2021, Jim also sent me Cat's Paw. So he has definitely been helping me build up my uh, Matthew Sweet collection here in the music room. Um, one album that I would absolutely love to get, and I think I'm going to pick it up soon, so kind of keep an eye out in future Vinyl Finds video, is uh, Altered Beasts, which is between, it was, it came out, I think, 1993, uh, between Girlfriend and 100% Fun. Uh, Altered Beasts is another fantastic Matthew Sweet album, and uh, he actually played a lot from that album uh, during this show and this tour. Uh, so saw that Matthew Sweet was coming to a venue near me and I threw it to, out to Alex and he was 100% in. Uh, and so because of that, uh, we ended up getting tickets. Actually, Alex gifted me tickets. So thank you, Alex. Um, but we ended up going to the show after doing some record shopping. Before we went to the show, we filmed a video. So I'm also going to link that video down below. Go check it out. We filmed it for Alex's channel. Just a fun little whatever it was. Um, had a lot of fun doing it. I know I shared it in the community tab as well, but I'll link it down below. Go check it out. It was a lot of fun. Um, went to the show. Now, before going to the show, I did some research and I realized that Debbie Peterson of the Bengals was playing drums this tour. So that was a very, very cool surprise. Uh, and I was kind of talking to Alex about this and we were getting very excited. And then a couple days later, he sent me a text and he said, the guy from Velvet Crush. And what did you find out? Uh, I forget his name, but it's the guy who played. Paul? 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 Phil? Phil? Paul. PP. Paul Pip. <laughs> <laughs> and Velvet Crush, another 90s power pop band. Uh, the guy from most well known for Teenage Symphonies uh, to God. Uh, he says, Paul Chastain from Velvet Crush is playing bass. So... This tour has kind of like a makeshift 
power pop super group in a sense. You have Matthew Sweet, Debbie Peterson, and Paul Chastain in one band. And then, of course, I do want to mention uh, a couple of the, gu the guitarists that are touring with them as well, John Mormon and Adrian Carter. The whole band was amazing. They sounded amazing. Matthew's voice sounded incredible. I know that he's kind of uh, struggled a little bit on tour through the years with that, but he sounded absolutely amazing. He looked like he was having so much fun. Everybody in the band did. And uh, and not only that, the band was just super, super tight. They were tight as hell. Uh, so they sounded great. So if you if they're coming to a place near you, I think they're touring through the rest of April. Check out the tour dates. It's definitely worth uh, going to see. So we went to the show. You had this power pop super group. Uh, we ended up right at the front near the stage. Of course, you guys know me. And this whole time I'm saying I need to get a set list, right? If I'm not going to get Matthew Sweet's guitar pick, I love collecting guitar picks. If I'm not going to get the guitar pick, I want the set list because I want to try to get it signed by everybody after the show. I knew that sometimes the artists go out at this venue after the show and you can try to get them to sign a couple of things. So I'm like, I need to get the set list. So we ended up up front met a lot of fun people. I have nothing but great things to say about that crowd. They were so much fun, so much dancing, so much singing. The whole show was just amazing. Opening for Matthew Sweet this tour is an individual named Abe Partridge. I'm going to talk more about him in a future channel because I actually did end up ordering a couple of his albums and I do want to kind of do my own little review of those uh, there, but go check out Abe Partridge, linking him down below as well an amazing, amazing opening act. So going to the show, show starts, and I'll run through the set list here in a second. He played a handful of material from Girlfriend, obviously, a lot of material from Altered Beasts, some material from 100% Fun. Of course, he closed with Sick of Myself, How Can't You Not? And uh, he also played a lot of newer material as well, a handful of songs, newer material from scattered albums over the years that he's released, um, including the 2021's Cat Paw, which is his newest release, and a couple of others from 2008 and so on. So moving on to the set list, incredible set list, 17 songs, played straight through, had an encore at the end. Uh, I'm going to read that off. Before I do that, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be reading off here. Um, I'm going to be reading off the actual set list. So I did end up scoring the set list. I'm going to talk more about this here in a second, but I'm going to read off uh, the songs that they played over the weekend. So they opened with Ugly Truth. Uh, this comes from the Altered Beasts album. Then they get into I Wanted to Tell You from Girlfriend. Then a song from uh, the 2008 album Sunshine Lies, which is called Bird Girl, which is great. Then they get into Time Capsule, Altered Beasts, Someone to Pull the Trigger. Then they start getting into some more Girlfriend stuff. They do Divine Intervention, which was so much fun. Winona, Devil with the Green Eyes, Pretty Please, You Don't Love Me, we're the same, if time permits, and then this last section, I don't think I stopped dancing. Then he gets into I've Been Waiting, course kind of ends it with Evangeline, which I'm not going to get in the lyrics right now. We'll save that for now. <laughs> we'll save that for another day. Alex, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and then they left, came back, did the encore, uh, kicked off the encore with Stars Explode from Cat's Paw, the single off that. And then, of course, the last two songs, which had the whole venue going crazy, Girlfriend into Sick of Myself. Just so much fun. So good. Just, yeah. Bah. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, going back to how I got this, and we'll talk about the signatures here on this as well. Uh, I had asked Adrian towards the end of the set, uh, end of sick of myself if I could have the set list. I think I just kind of pointed to it and uh, he kicked it over to me and my goal of course was to get it signed. So after the show we were kind of walking around the venue and I noticed in the corner that Paul, uh, Chastain Paul, uh, was kind of walking around and talking to fans and so as he was coming around I kind of pulled him aside and I was like hey Paul do you mind signing this and he did and we took a picture and he was awesome, uh, said that I was a fan of Velvet Crush, he loved that, went about his business. Waiting around some more, and uh, unfortunately, security decided to kick everybody out of the venue. So that was a bummer. I had been to that venue. I've seen a handful of shows there. I saw Bob Mould there a couple years ago. 
I mean, we were in the venue probably an hour after the show. Bob Mould was walking around meeting fans. And so I didn't, you never know what to expect with those things, but I was hoping uh, for at least something like that. Not the case. We ended up, un end up getting kicked out. Um, there were a couple of people outside waiting by the van that presumably uh, the band was traveling in. And so we decided to wait for a little bit as well. As we were waiting, we were out there for maybe about 20 minutes. As we were waiting, Abe Partridge, who is the opening act, fantastic again, go check him out, link down below. Um, he was packing up his van uh, with merch and whatever else. And as he was walking back in, I asked, you know, I was like, Abe, do you mind bringing this set list in with you and getting it signed? I had brought a Sharpie, I was smart about it. And so I already had everything. And he was kind of hesitant at first. He's like, you know, and this guy's from Alabama. So, I mean, thick accent. Um, <laughs> Alex also knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not going to mimic the accent, but he basically said something along the lines. They'll be out in about like 20 minutes or so. And as he was kind of saying that, Alex just blurts out, it's her birthday. <laughs> so it's not my birthday. My birthday's in July. Uh, but he goes, it's her birthday. And, uh, like, the intrusive thoughts kicked in there. And then I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I'm like, yeah, it's my birthday. And it was like, well, if it's your birthday. So he, he grabs a cell list and he was like, he's like, I'll be right back. Disappears for, like, ten minutes. Comes back out. Hands this to me. Just says, happy birthday. And the first thing that I see at the top, it is signed by Matthew Sweet and Debbie Peterson. But they both wrote, happy birthday on it. Uh, so, again, not my birthday. Uh, but now it is. I feel like when Debbie Peterson and Matthew Sweet say it's your birthday on whenever this was, the April 2024 tour, uh, I feel like that just needs to be like an official change now. So apparently my birthday is now in April and I will take that. So again, shout out to Alex for uh, throwing that out because I don't know if Abe would have done it if that wasn't the case. And shout out to Abe for helping me out as well. And shout out to my birthday and shout out to this set list, Paul, Matthew Sweet, and Debbie Peterson. Just awesome. Um, so that is basically a wrap up. That is my concert review. Again, I just had so much fun this weekend. Not only the concert, hanging out with Alex, record digging, just doing what we do. Um, it was a lot of fun. So again, please make sure to go check out Beer and Vinyl, linked down below. Go give Alex some love. And I will see you guys for my next video. Bye, guys.